Elder M. Russell Ballard is a member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. As the grandson of two former apostles, Elder Hiram M. Smith and Elder Melvin J. Ballard, the great-grandson of the former prophet Joseph F. Smith, and the great-great-grandson of Hiram Smith, and the great-great-nephew of the prophet Joseph Smith. M. Russell Ballard realizes the heritage that has been left to him. It is a heritage that he gladly accepts and strives each day to live up to. When Elder Ballard was sustained an apostle at General Conference, he said the following, I would like to also bear witness that in my particular case, the veil between here and the hereafter is rather thin. And I acknowledge that it's been a great blessing in my life to be born of goodly parents, grandparents and great-grandparents who have given everything they have been asked to give to the building of the kingdom of God upon the earth. Melvin Russell Ballard, Jr. was born in Salt Lake City on October 8, 1928, to Melvin Russell and Geraldine Smith Ballard. He was the only boy among three sisters. They lived in the same home in Salt Lake City from the time they were born until they were married. Russell's father was the owner of Ballard Motor Company in Salt Lake City. He instilled in his son the desire to work hard at whatever he did. From the time that Russell was old enough to work, he always had a job. He earned money as a young man mowing lawns. He claimed his mother as his best friend during his growing years. She was a very compassionate and tender woman. In 1948, Elder Ballard served a full-time mission in England. While on his mission, he served as counselor to the mission president. After his mission, he met Barbara Bowen at a University of Utah dance. She was the most beautiful but had a sparkling personality. He knew from the beginning that he wanted to marry her, but she didn't share the same feelings and it was a little hard convincing her. He claims it was the greatest sales job he ever did. Russell and Barbara were married in the Salt Lake Temple in 1951 and were blessed with seven children, two sons and five daughters. Family was his top priority, even with all the responsibilities he had in the church and in his business. When he was home, he made sure he spent quality time with his family. When Elder Ballard attended East High School in Salt Lake City, his friends looked to him as their leader. He served as seminary president his senior year. He attended the University of Utah and was known as the bishop to his fraternity brothers. His friends knew that whatever situation Russell was in, he would remain true to his faith and be an example of the gospel of Jesus Christ to all. Elder Ballard's education was a lot of hands-on work. With his father owning Ballard Motor Company, he had the opportunity to work with his father and learn the importance of hard work. He learned how to set goals and have objectives in business, church, and family affairs. Professionally, he became involved in several enterprises, including automotive, real estate, mining, and investment businesses. He eventually took over Ballard Motor Company from his father. During that time, he also served as first lieutenant in the United States Army Reserve. He had his share of losses in his professional career, but he always respectfully got back up on his feet. He said, to me, Failure is only when you quit trying. If you keep working at a task and try to do what's right and honest, ultimately it works out. Over the years, he continued in various projects, such as president of Valley Music Hall in Bountiful, Utah. The theater offered high quality family entertainment for many years. His time was also spent in various leadership positions in professional organizations and in the Chamber of Commerce, such as Deseret Book Company and the Salt Palace Advisory Board. Shortly after Russell and Barbara were married, Elder Ballard was called into a bishopric and has served in numerous church positions ever since. In 1974, he was called as the president of the Toronto Canada Mission. In 1976, his call to full-time church service became permanent when he was sustained as a member of the first quorum of the 70. And in 1980, he was called to the presidency of that quorum. October 1985 brought a change to the Ballard family one that came unexpectedly. Barbara recalls, it came as such a surprise. We were just ready to leave the house to go to conference. The phone rang and it was President Hinckley who asked my husband to come to his office. Elder Ballard thought he would perhaps be called to speak in conference since one of the speakers was ill. 
We were relaxed on the way to President Hinckley's office and discussed what Russell might talk about if called to speak. When we got to the office, President Hinckley called my husband to be an apostle. I almost thought, please say that again. I don't know if I heard correctly. Russell looked at me with tears in his eyes. It was a sobering experience. M. Russell Ballard was sustained as a member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles in October 1985 at General Conference. I'm deeply humbled at the confidence of the Lord and my brethren and would pledge to you that I will do the very best I know how. I understand the source of the call. This is our Heavenly Father's Church, and the errands that I have been sent on to act in the name of the Lord have caused me to be able to witness to you today that I know, as I know that I stand before you, that Jesus is the Christ, that He lives, He is very close to this work, and very close to all of us that are asked to perform the work throughout the earth in His name. Now, my brothers and sisters, I would ask for an interest in your faith and prayers. I express my affection to my wife, my children, who sustain me in whatever the Lord might ask me to do. I am grateful for this abundant blessing and pray humbly that I might serve you, the membership of this church, in a way that would be pleasing and acceptable unto our Heavenly Father, and ask this prayer humbly in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.